The missing New Hampshire girl, originally from Massachusetts, was under DCF care starting when she was two months old. A new report from the Office of Child Advocates says the agency failed to find a permanent home for over four years, moving the child between her mother and foster care multiple times. The central finding of this investigation is that Harmony's individual needs, well-being and safety we're not prioritized. But the director says the most shocking finding was a pivotal court hearing in 2019 when a judge awarded custody to her father, Adam Montgomery, in New Hampshire, who has a criminal record and DCF was never able to assess. There was almost no evidence presented about Harmony and her needs. No attorney explored Mr. Montgomery's understanding of Harmony's visual impairment, her behavioral health and medical needs. The physical safety of the home for Harmony was also not explored. I was surprised that there was not more of a discussion of Harmony and Harmony's needs. The report also gives a glimpse into Harmony herself, described as charming, active, and defying expectations over her visual impairment. We do know that this beautiful young child experienced many tragedies in her short life, and that by not putting her and her needs first, our, our system ultimately failed her. In response to the report, DCF released a statement that says, in part, the administration agrees the needs and safety of kids under state care should be the priority to all participants in the child protective system. Uh, and we should say the report does make several recommendations for reform, and some of those recommendations are already underway.